right, gang, welcome to my backyard right here in Colfax, California. This happens to be my homage to the 9-11 uh, uh, disaster, and I painted this back in 2011. But uh, anyway, today we're here talking about uh, a few different things. I want to show you the new pilot cam that came out from Hobby King, and also uh, show you a little bit about our skids. But the first thing I want to do is uh, give you a reminder. You want to be careful when you're out there flying in, in, uh, in the wild. When you're uh, out there having fun, you want to be especially careful that you're not harassing wildlife. There's actually a federal law against it. Anything that's got fur or feathers on it, if you disturb their nesting habits or their breeding habits or they're you know, flying around or they're sleeping somewhere and you go in there with your quadcopter and disturb them, you could find yourself in one whole hell of a lot of trouble. The National Marine Fisheries Service, the NOAA, is a government agency and they will come after you if they find out that you were out there harassing fish or uh, seals or birds or bears or whatever. So just be very careful, very responsible with your Phantom or your drone and have fun with it. But again, don't harass the wildlife, keep yourself out of trouble, all right? Hey, uh, today we're talking about this new camera that I just got. This is called the Fat Shark Pilot HD camera. And uh, you can see that it's just a little flight camera, we call them. And it's a uh, all metal bezel housing on it. And it shoots in 720p at 30 frames per second. And the really cool part about this camera is it comes with a recordable SD slot in it. So you use your SD card, make sure it's up to a 10x write speed. And I think the camera's a little bit temperamental about the uh, Samsung uh, uh, SD cards. So try to avoid those on it. This shoots in the AVI format. So uh, when you're downloading, you'll be getting them as AVIs and not MPEGs. And this comes default from the factory in PAL, or P-A-L, which is European standard television over there. But you can switch it over to NTSC by just plugging it into your computer and downloading the firmware for the NTSC, NTSC version, okay? Now this camera is compatible with all of the Fat Shark immersion transmitters. So if you plug this into your Fat Shark transmitter, you don't have to run a separate power supply for it. This gets its power directly from the video transmitter, which makes it so easy to hook up. And it comes with a standard Fat Shark uh, uh, plug. So you plug it just directly into your Fat Shark uh, video transmitter and you're good to go. You can go with either a 250 watt. 250 milliwatt transmitter or the 600 milliwatt video transmitter it's not going to make a whole lot of difference you're not going to see a huge range jump if you go up to the 600 uh, milliwatt video transmitter from fat shark you'll see a little bit of gain but not a whole lot i fly the 250 milliwatt transmitter and i'm perfectly fine with it If, uh, if you're recording on, let's say, a 16 or a 32 gigabyte card and you fill up your card, it doesn't shut off on you. What it's going to do is it's going to loop back to the beginning and start recording over the first video that you took. So you don't have to worry about the camera shutting off in midair. So uh, anyway, the uh, Pilot HD 720p 30 frames per second video camera. It's a very handy little camera, especially like I said, you can put your SD card in here and fly with just this camera. So if you're looking to go bare bones, no weight on your Phantom at all, and you're flying a Phantom 1.1.1, then instead of putting the GoPro on there and reducing your flight time down to let's say seven minutes, take the GoPro off and run with just this Pilot HD camera on there and you're gonna boost your flight time up a couple of minutes and you can still shoot great video with this. 
So uh, if you're gonna put your uh, pilot cam on your Phantom, we did it this way. We made a little custom bracket that you can see right there. That's that little custom bracket. We made ours out of Lexan. And it's basically just an L-shaped little bracket that bolts onto your, uh, your vibration dampener. So on the screw that holds your uh, GoPro down on, there's a screw on the front side. And so we just bolted it right to there. So just take your uh, pilot camera, put some Velcro on it, and then just mount it right there on the front side of your, uh, of your uh, uh, Phantom. So you can see how we're using the flight camera to actually look through our goggles with. So this is what we're flying with, and it stays with the copter. So when we bank, the, the camera is also banking. If you have your gimbal on your GoPro, we don't have our gimbal installed here, but when you're flying with your gimbal on and you have your goggles on, it can be very disorienting while you're trying to fly to have your gimbal constantly leveling your flight. You want to lean with the flight. So that's why we fly through the flight camera and let the gimbal do all the work for the GoPro in shooting your videography and you know what you want to uh, keep level and, and true at all times, okay? Okay, so to mount your Pilot HD camera, you want to just make your mount so that it, it, it sits out here on the front side of your uh, GoPro, but not so far out that your GoPro is going to catch it in the corner of the frame. So you want it to be kind of off to the side a little bit. Now, so once you mount your, uh, your cable for it, cable's going to run out to the camera, and then just plug in your camera with your SD card on the top side, and then you'll notice over here on the side, we have our shelf unit that's housing our OSD unit. So the OSD unit is giving us all of our on-screen display information, our altitude, our speed, and all that kind of information. That's where your camera is going to plug into is the top right port right up here. So going in, and it's, a, it's an immersion plug, so it's going to get plugged directly into your OSD or into your video transmitter, either one. So we've got it plugged into our OSD, which then goes into our Fat Shark uh, video transmitter. So we've got all three in the chain. But right into the top plug there and you're good to go. Yeah. Uh, these are the Lexan skids that we're always talking about. They're incredibly durable. They're, I mean, they're damn near bomb proof. You cannot break these. I don't care what you do to them, twist them, drop them, kick them, whatever. Drop a brick on it. You're not going to break these skids. Uh, I've had a few questions on installing them. We do have a video that's called Mod Kit. If uh, you're picking up a set of our skids, just look for that video called Mod Kit. It goes through all the installation instructions. Once you put your uh, skids on, they stick out an inch, in, an inch in the front and an inch and a half in the back. They're going to stick out an inch in the front because we reduce the length in the front just a little bit so that they don't show up in your video shot when you're uh, panning your camera or when you're pitching your camera downward. So to install one of these skids, it's very simple. Take your Phantom, turn it over on a solid surface. Take your skid, put it at a 45 degree angle at the corner of your landing gear. Just press it on there until the hole that's in the landing gear skid pops over onto your landing gear. And then just run it down until the landing gear clicks into place. And now that landing gear is on there and it's not going to come off on you. So very, very, it'll really help you with tip overs. I know that when you land and your Phantom tips over on its side because of windy conditions or whatever, you're gonna chip your props or break them, especially if you've got vision props on there, which I also highly recommend. So uh, these landing gear skids, a great investment. 20 bucks, send me a PayPal for $20 and shipping, and we'll send you a set in the mail right away. Hey, that's gonna do it for this edition, gang. Thanks for joining me here on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a comment, because I answer them all, and fly safe out there. We'll see you again, bye-bye.